New South Wales, New South Wales, New Sa Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be a totally unbiased Origin 3 preview. Hang on. Sorry to show on the abs here. How we go? Is this better? Probably not. Anyway, Origin 3 is the decider. Queensland, New South Wales locked at one game all. We're going to ANZ next Wednesday in Sydney. The Blues are in home territory. Can they bring it home? Queensland scraped home 18 14 in one of the best Origin games for a very long time in game one. Game two, slaughter. New South Wales 38 6. Just absolutely obliterated the Maroons. Kevin Walters has it all in front of him now, trying to get the Queenslanders back up, but he's picked a much better side for this game. Gone to the plotters. Napa gone. Jared Wallace gone. More mobile. Offer Hengawi's back. Christian Welch debuts. Corey Norman's come in. And I like the changes that Kevy's made. We've got DCE and Norman in the halves. Ben Hunt at hooker. Now completing the spine, Caelan Ponga's out with a calf injury, but that has now moved. Cameron Munster to his preferred position at fullback, and some would say his best position. Now Cameron Munster can win a game on his own, floating around, he is an absolute danger. But facing them, the mighty Blues on their home turf. Now it was through the middle that New South Wales killed the Maroons. Now there's been a couple of changes to that winning side. Tarek Sims, he was never going to get through the judiciary. This is where I think Freddie some people think he's a bit out there, drunk too many cosmic coffees, God knows what else. Freddie's just a, you know, he just floats around in his own sphere, you know. But he knows footy and he knows origin. David Clemmer, I think, was always going to play. They knew Tarek wasn't going to get in the judiciary. And Freddie was just firing Clemmer up. Clemmer is going to come off the bench. He's enraged that he wasn't selected in the first place. He only missed Origin 2 due to injury. He's been the best forward for the Blues for three years. Why wouldn't you pick him? They keep talking about loyalty and Origin, but yeah, really, it only goes, it's about as solid as an NRL contract. Anyway, Clem is back in, and the story of the lead into this Origin, the decider, Mitchell Pearce, is back. Everyone's favorite Origin punching bag south of the border He's been tarred unfairly with that brush. Poor Mitchell, every time we got beat by probably the best rep side you've ever seen, JT, Cameron Smith, Cooper Cronk, Billy Slater, Greg Inglis. Oh, it was always Mitchell Pierce's fault. Always Mitch's fault. Well, guess what? Pierce is back, and just for Pierce's sake, I hope he has an absolute blinder. And if New South Wales do happen to win the series, great for Mitchell. Now, Mitchell is under no illusions, though. He's a tough rooster, but guess what? He knows what's going to happen on social media when the feral keyboard warriors get stuck into him if we lose. He's already said if we win, I'll get a nice photo in the paper on Thursday. If we lose, it's my fault. He's under no illusions. Now, where will this game be won? It's of course up the middle in the forwards. But Queensland have to block up the ruck. It's no secret when New South Wales have been killing them. Damien Cook, I'll fast play the balls. This is where Clemmer and Saifidi and Paul Vaughan will come into their own. And Jake Trevojevic. Meteridge, fast play the balls. Cook with Tedesco and Travojevic firing through off the back of him. You've got Ado Cara and Blake Ferguson on the wings. That is the key for New South Wales. Now, Queensland's key, other than stopping that, is putting pressure on Mitchell Pearce and James Maloney. They've won a premiership at the Roosters before. They know how to do it. Great long kicking games. Maloney's got an excellent short kicking game. And if Queensland don't win that forward battle... Pierce and Maloney will just drive them back all night and hem them in. Now, Queensland need Josh Papali to have a massive game. Joe Offerheng Gowie, Josh Maguire, all these guys, Matt Gillett, they, they were really poor in Perth and they've got to be better. Otherwise, it's going to be more of the same. Queensland's forwards, if they can get parity, they've got the spine that can beat any team. Ben Hunt at hooker. You've got DCE, Corey Norman. Even though he's on debut, Corey's a cool cat. He'll just go for it. And... Because Pong is out, Munster at fullback, he can beat any team on his own. Now, on the bench, you've got Moses Embai. I would have actually, Kevy probably won't do this, he knows what he's doing better than me. I'd swap him and Michael Morgan because Morgan got burned by Tom Travojevic a couple of times in Perth. Embai has got the pace, he's been playing centres for the Tigers. Morgan, you put him at 14, you can bring him on as an extra playmaker in the lock position, and it would just add extra oomph to the Maroons attack. Moses Embiid's been giving nothing off the bench. He's only been given minimal game time. Anyway, 
it's all on the Maroons forwards. If the Blues get control of the game, they've got too much pace and too much power. And I actually think New South Wales at home are going to win this game. There won't be a flogging like the last game. Queensland, you know they're going to fight back. I expect a fast start from the Blues. Queensland, as it always written in origin stories, they'll come firing out in the second half as they have in the other two games, especially Origin 1. It's all all to play for, but I think New South Wales will bring it home and they're going to be too strong, led by their forwards. Watch David Clammer have an absolute blinder. And I just think James Tedesco, he's my pick for man of the match and New South Wales to win by eight points.